You watching daytime tea time with Candace. Daytime tea time. Daytime tea time. No way. Only I can eat your breasts and that's totally true. Daytime tea time. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Candace. All right, you see that title, so you already know. We're about to talk about The Real, specifically Miss Lonnie Love. Y'all, today on The Real, Miss Lonnie Love got emotional. And this isn't the first time, because if you're a fan of The Real, you know Lonnie Love cries often. But today, she cried about single moms. They were discussing a situation where this woman was talking to her baby daddy on the phone. She put him on speaker and allowed, I believe, her two-year-old or three-year-old daughter to hear what he was saying. And he was basically saying that he wasn't gonna come pick up their daughter or he didn't wanna see their daughter and the daughter was super sad about it. Now this situation made Lonnie very emotional and she started talking about her own mother and her mother never said negative things about her father in front of her. But at the same time, I guess Lonnie Love really felt connected to this situation because like I said, her mother was a single mother. So I'm gonna play that clip for you guys really quick and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I think about it. So I have to commend my mother for that because she never said anything bad, even though there were some times we weren't eating, it's okay, love. It's okay. I feel for this single mother. Yeah. Because as a single mom, sometimes you're lonely. Sometimes you want to use your child. Um, and you shouldn't use your child. Even if you're lonely, even if he may be going through something and he may have found somebody else, don't put your child in it. Concentrate and focus on your child. And when you need a break, you know, try to get a babysitter and go out and live your life because that will help you and the child. It's really hard for yeah. single mothers. It's yeah. hard. But it's nice hard with you. It my mom. Exactly. It's hard with you with a mom and a dad. You know, man, because I'm pretty sure, you know, that there's something going on between her and him. Yes. And co-parenting is very, very hard. Yes. But as when you're a single mother, you have to take time out for yourself. But you also have to focus on your kids. But you can't use that child. And I'm not saying it in this case. Yes. But I'm saying in a lot of cases, you can't use the child to try to get yes. to the guy. Whew. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That kind of made me tear up a little bit. Because I have sisters who are single mothers. And being a single mother is very hard. And sometimes you don't make the right decision. But not being messy, y'all. I swear I'm not being messy. But I really didn't like the part where Tamara tried to slide it in real quick. Well, it's hard with two parents, too. Because y'all know she's married and she has children. But it's hard with you. It's hard with you with a mom and dad. Because I'm pretty sure... So I just felt like it was a little bit insensitive in that moment for Tamara to say, well, it's hard with two parents too. And I like Tamara, y'all. I, I really do like Tamara, but I just feel like in that moment, you did not have to say that. We're talking about single mothers right now, okay? Mentioning that it's hard for two parents to raise a kid is really not relevant right now. That's just how I feel about it. And I'm married with three children. So I can attest that raising children is difficult. People already know that. But the subject that we're talking about right now is single mothers. So I like the way that Lonnie just kept talking. <laughs> she didn't even acknowledge that Tamara said having two parents and raising children was difficult. I was glad that Lonnie kept going on with her statement. Now, I'm not trying to make this get on Tamara day. I'm not trying to be mean towards Tamara. I'm just giving you my personal opinion on today's episode. And I just feel like Tamara was speaking about something that she knows nothing about. She grew up with two parents and she's raising children with her husband. So she's really trying to give advice. I know she's trying to give advice and be nice, but I feel like she definitely missed the mark on a lot of the things she said. So the next thing she said that kind of bothered me and keep in mind y'all I have a husband so I'm not just a bitter you know single mom which is what y'all probably thinking but no I just felt like when Tamara said this next thing it got under my skin a little bit too she basically was advising well you know if your baby's daddy's not there for your child then make sure that you keep a good role model a good male role model in that child's life so that they don't have a negative outlook on men in general i would want to make sure that this child has a positive male role model in their yes. lives as well because you don't want that child to grow up feeling insecure about themselves but not only that having a negative stereotype about males in exactly. general and that is true but you have to keep in mind 
a lot of these single moms don't have that. Maybe they grew up without a father themselves, so there's no grandfather. Maybe they don't have brothers, so there's no brothers. So who is this positive male role model that they supposed to find? Because you're gonna judge single moms when they have too many boyfriends coming in and out of the house. So where are they supposed to find this positive male role model? Basically, I just feel like it's easier said than done. I do agree that it's helpful to have a positive male role model in that child's life because like I said, my sisters are single parents and my father, the grandfather, is that positive role model for my nephew. But what if my father wasn't there? Who would that positive male role model be? Okay, Tamara, I see you trying to give advice, but like I said, you're making it sound a little bit easier than it is. I just wish they would have given more practical advice for single moms. And like I said, I'm not trying to have a get on Tamara moment. I'm not trying to be rude or mean towards her. I just personally feel like she needs to stay in her lane. And her lane is not giving advice to single moms because she knows nothing about being a single mom. I like the segments when she gives parenting advice about things she knows about. Like I can remember when she gave advice to Tamar one time. And she did a pretty good job, you know? She's always talking about a mom, so I just feel like she needs to stick to what she's good at. And when she gave advice to Tamar that day, you know, she did a pretty good job. Y'all know I love my Tamar segment, so let me slide that in real quick so y'all can know what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I think about it. What's going on, Tay Tay? Girl! <laughs> I know you've been having a bit of a parenting struggle lately. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I remember maybe a year ago, you tried to pre-warn me about the toddler stage. I sure and did. And we don't have a toddler. Like, the baby's the best thing on the planet. Like, I don't mm -hmm. understand my baby's not going to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. Lies, child. You said Logan was perfect. <laughs> he is perfect. Which he is. But he don't like to sleep no more. <laughs> no, what happened? Like, I know you told me, but you didn't really tell me. Okay, Tay-Tay. And then he don't like clothes no more, too. He doesn't like Wait, clothes? What? Okay, there could be two things going on okay. with Logan right now mm -hmm. because he is two and a half, mm -hmm. two and a half. Mm -hmm. So 17 months to kind of like 24 months, it's a little bit challenging. Um, I think probably he's having a little bit of sensory overload because right now in this developmental stage, you know, they're, they're learning a lot of things. He's, his brain is like a sponge, so he's taking everything in mm -hmm. and that kind of stops them from, you know, having great night sleeps. But yeah, then but he also, used to sleep all night. What I know, happened? Well, he's growing up, Tay-Tay, but then, the other one, this is, <clears throat> this is uh, a little bit um, about you. You, you as a mommy now. Okay, I'm going to get serious, okay? Now, does Logan watch TV like an hour before he goes to bed? Does Logan play on the little iPad? And does Logan play on his phone? <coughs> okay, yes. yes. E so, all of the above. E all of the above. So so what's happening is he's overstimulating his brain before he goes to sleep. Like, okay? What you mean? No TV? That's how I go to Just, bed. Just, I know. <laughs> but Tay-Tay, his little body, his little brain. So, just before he goes to bed, maybe an hour Today he can play all of that just just up to an hour before he goes that, to bed. That ain't, he ain't gonna go for that. Okay. He ain't gonna go for that. All right, that's one. The other thing is, is do you have a nighttime routine? Like what? <laughs> Meaning, oh, kids, no, like, no, kids like structure. That's what I'm trying to say. So Mine you don't like to... structure. Mine is... Tay, Tay, you know, do you want spirit. me to help you or not? He's a free spirit. I'm just he is a free. No, I said he's free a free spirit. spirit. Free spirit and children <laughs> still need some type of structure before he goes to bed. So he knows that it's time to go see see. So what you do is, Ooh. is you, you see see. What that mean? Sleep, sleep. Oh. Sleepy time. <laughs> Develop a, a nighttime routine, like start a bath, right? Then uh, read a book to him. And then that's how he knows. Sometimes like, right he don't after want that. that. Like, sometimes he feel like a nut, sometimes he don't. Like, okay. I don't know. Well, then, Tay -tay, you, he's an example of you then. So, yes, as you can see, Tamara gives good advice about things she knows about, okay? Helping Tamar establish a good bedtime routine is key for kids. So, you did a good job with that, Tamara. Stick to that, boo. I'm sorry. Don't talk about single moms no more because you don't know what you're talking about. But I could be wrong. Maybe I don't know no better. I need y'all to comment y'all thoughts below and let me know. Y'all, comment y'all thoughts below. What do you think about this? And I want to hear from single moms. 
Do you guys feel like it was appropriate for that mother to put the baby's father on speaker and allow that child to hear him saying that he didn't want to see her? And I also want to know, what do you guys think about Miss Tamara trying to slide it in real quick that, oh, it's hard with two parents too. Do y'all feel like that was a little bit insensitive in that moment? Let me know what you guys think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.